Hi guys, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. So in this video, we will do a simple another project, just a tabbing app. We'll try to do it. So for that one, what I am trying to do is, so I am creating in our course here also. It's a simple thing only before proceeding into the another thing. It's a simple project. So here I am creating create react app. So it's a tabbing app. Okay. So just implementing the tabs. So I am creating this one. Let it take some time. So it will take some time to create the project. So it is getting project created. So it's a simple tab app. We can complete it in this video or next video also. We can complete it within two videos. We can complete this one. So why I am trying to explain you with examples is so in the previous uh, react JS tutorial, we have all covered the core concepts. So now in this uh, series, I want to do some couple of projects, uh, some, uh, some couple of examples so that we can able to understand the concept how the react js actually works with the examples only we can be able to understand so now it's it's creating so let it take some time let it create because the project has been created let's go into this tabbing app here i am moving into this tabbing app okay and i will open this one in our visual studio code and so in the same time i will start the server also so it will take some time right so here we have entered into this one so you know already you know about the project structure and all those things so here i will be creating the component mm. let's go to the app.js file here in this app.js file i will create i will delete this all the code okay and i will create due class name is equal to tabs okay so tabs this is the tabs i am trying to create it and here i will write uh, hello world just i will write right hello world and here we'll have some tabs like constant tabs tabs data and set tabs data is equal to use state i will be using the use state oh, sorry use state of and this is an array which consists of an object so you can have something like uh, what i can say is uh, um, title tab one and here i need to show the description okay tab one description so i will have some something like this and let's create another one also description let's have here description yes fine so now another one will create it so the same thing i will copy it and i will keep a comma oriented here so i am keeping here the comma so this one is a tab 2 okay let's remove the space why the space is coming and here this is a tab 2 description and here we will have another one like uh, tab 3 and this one is a tab 3 description okay so these are the details we need to show these all the tabs here so one by one let's see whether it has been started or not so this is not the thing and here let's go here so it is still starting let it start so here we are having the use state right let's remove this use, uh, import thing and here we will import the use state from react okay so here we need to import the use state let's import the use state so fine so now i think the error will go away now let's try to uh, do the further more so fine here we are sh able to show the hello world right so now here we need to show the tabs so for this one what i will try to do is so here i will create a new component so that is tab tab dot js okay tab heading like this so now in this one export default function okay and this one will be default export default function tab and here i will return uh, div um, tab one or something like this so these are the tabs now here so for this each tab i need to show the heading for this one so here let's go into this uh, javascript mode in this one so here i will do tabs data dot map i will map the each tab and i will try to show that tab one so tab 
okay and here we will send the tab data so that is nothing but tab is equal to tab that's it so i will try to send the tab so here we are trying to send each tab and here in this tab we will try to show the tab data here i will get the tab and here i will show the tab dot title okay tab dot title and this one is something like class name is equal to uh, heading like this we'll use it fine so now let's try to design some css so that you will be able to understand what i am trying to do it here i will remove this all the things and star and i will use the box sizing of border box and here i can use a body so i will use the font family sans serif and font size i can use something around 20 pixel right let's keep it like this only and here uh, dot tabs tabs is the main container we are having width of 90% and margin will be auto left right auto so here it should be something around 2 rem and auto okay at the top you will have some gap yeah fine and we need to make this all the tabs uh, what i want to say uh, in a horizontal position so i want to make these all things in a horizontal position now how can i make this one in a horizontal position so this is the tab right and here we are having all the tab so what i can do is so this is our tabs enter tabs and here i want to show uh, div class is equal to tab headings okay tab headings so in this one we will be having each headings and i will paste it here so in, inside the tab headings each div so tab.js sorry app.css so tab headings it should be something like display flex so let's try, try to see yes we are able to get it and tab headings whichever you are having inside the greater than div okay So for each one, you will be applying a flex of one, so that equal space will be divided. It's not coming. Tab headings. Yes. Now you will be able to see it. So if you want, you can make it as a text align center. So fine. And now I want to apply some background color. Background color of uh, what I want to say, ash bbb. So this is the background color which I want to apply. And we can apply a border of one pixel solid. Uh, hash uh, a so some thick border i want to apply it yeah so these are the tab this is the tab which i want to tell you and the tabs also for this one also i will apply a border of 1 pixel solid hash a i want to use this one only so fine now i want to show the description so when whenever the whatever the tab i am trying to click it here so we will show cursor sorry cursor pointer i have applied the cursor pointer also whenever i click on this tab so the tab the highlighted tab the data whichever the description is there we need to show it so here for this one what we will do is we will try to create a tab description okay so before that so this is the thing so like tabbing structure which i want to do it so design thing let's leave it we have like we have written it like that so now we need to show the tab description so for that one tab headings is completed so here i will create a new file tab description okay dot js file and let's do export default function tab description and here i need to return the do value oh sorry do uh, value i want to return uh, hello world or anything so which are it maybe i want to show some description and this one we need to add it here at the bottom so here i need to add the tab description that's it so we can import the component and here you will be able to see the the output so for this tab description so what i can do is so this is a tab description right class is a class name is equal to description i will add the description here and for this description we will add some css for this one so let's go into this one and here i will add the description Mm, padding i will give something around 2 rem let's give some gap uh, equally okay and we'll decrease the font size to 16 pixel or anything okay 
so that's it so now whatever the tab we are trying to select the data the description data should be highlighted here so let's try to do this one in the next video what i will do is i will commit this all the code so this is our new code right i am committing this all the code in a new branch that is video hyphen 31 and i will commit this complete code so this is an tabbing project setup okay so i will commit this all code so let's commit this all the code yeah publish this branch so as you already know whoever may be having doubts or anything so in my course so you can go to this particular uh, github repository url the link is provided in the description below whatever the video you are trying to watch it you can go to that particular branch of that video and you can check you can refer the code if you have any doubts so this is the, about the tabbing structure in the next video we will try to do the remaining part if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you